Today on Prime Tips, we're talking about comms, communications. You probably have heard uh, agents say that comms are not secure, and for the most part, that's right, but they are a wealth of intelligence and information. So to get into them, on the bottom right-hand side, you hit, and you have activities, alerts, and chat. They do different things. Uh, let's start by looking at chat. You have two different types of chat. You have faction chat and cross-faction chat. So if you go to cross-faction chat, that is a true broadcast. So if you put something out on cross-faction chat, basically it broadcasts globally. Everybody in the world will see it. Now, you have a uh, little thing here for kilometers. Right now I'm set for 20 kilometers. So I'm only going to see those things that are cross-faction chat within a 20 kilometer radius of where I'm at. But please be aware that if you put something in, it does broadcast all the way around the world. So if I slide it all the way to the right and go global, everybody in the world could see it. Uh, a couple of things you might notice. Um, here I have a, a agent by the name of 0606, and I congratulated him on his first field. Let's say I wanted to know a little bit more about him. If I tap on that agent's name, I get a menu, and there's a couple things. I can block that agent in comm. So if you have somebody that's giving you a hard time in comms, do that. Block them. You won't hear from them again. If you want to unblock them, you can unblock them later. I can send a message to that agent, or I can view the player profile. Let's look at send message. So when you see send message, you see that it has the at symbol and then the agent's name. So if I want to send a message to somebody that I don't see in chat alerts or activities, but I know their agent name, I could go into chat, start a new chat, put the at symbol and their agent name, space, and it will send that out. Um, You'll notice also that here I have one that's a chat to Heroes 49, and it just has a period. Well, the reason for that is it's kind of the thing called a ping. So I didn't really want to send them anything. I just wanted to learn some information out about that particular agent. So if I click on that agent's name and I view the agent profile, now I've got some information about this agent. A fairly new agent, level 3, uh, no real badges or anything. Um, so I get an idea of, of who that agent is and what they're doing. Uh, if the agent has more information available, you'll be able to see more. So we'll see that in a second. Faction chat. It's very similar to cross-faction chat. Now, cross-faction chat also is kind of known as open comms, and this is, was known as secure comms. Uh, when you broadcast under faction chat, only those agents from your faction, your color, We'll see that. Again, it's worldwide when you send it, but you can then zone down and only hear the ones that you, that you want. Let's go to alerts. Alerts would be something has happened that directly affects you. So usually if you've had a portal that's been attacked or something like that, it'll show up here. So I noticed that I have a portal that's been attacked by an agent called Chaos for You. So when I click on that and I view that player profile, yeah, this guy's been around a very long time. He's got a whole bunch of badges, and I noticed the very first badge down here at the bottom is Founder and Verified. If you see somebody the Founder or Verified, that means they probably were in at the first year of the action, of the game. Then this person was level 3, it looks like, in year 2. So, well, that might be level 9 in year 2. Um, so, you can get an idea of how experienced that particular agent is and then below that this particular agent does not have his or her uh, stats set to private so I can look at their building combat skills and stuff like that a good thing to get a lot of information is the mission so under these mission badges um, these are the missions that this particular uh, agent has filled out and I might be able to get an idea of, of where he's been so it looks like he's been in Rantoul, Illinois Normal, Illinois um, and it could be that they're traveling. It could be that that's where they play from. I see a lot of names of a lot of Illinois towns, Mattoon. So I'm guessing, you know, that this one is from Mattoon. If I could get to the bottom of all of them, which I have a feeling he has so many of them that I can't get to the bottom. Um, probably some of the first missions that an agent will uh, fulfill are going to be those, those that are local for them in their own hometown or something. So if you want, kind of want to know their area of play, where they're from, look at those mission badges and take a guess. That's where they're from. Activities. 
uh, again, this looks at all the activities in the area. So right now I have it set to 20 kilometers. These are things that have happened in a 20 kilometer radius. Looks as though I have somebody that I need to go give a visit to and I can look at the profile and he's a level 15. Uh, so, you know, I probably may not run into much trouble there. Who knows? That's part of the game. Um, yeah, so if you slide this all the way to the right, these are the activities for a thousand kilometers. So this would be everything that's been done all around the world. So that's comms. Um, if you're looking for information on your own team or the opposite team, it's a good place to go. Also, one last point. If you're a new player and you want to get into the community, and I really suggest you get into your community and talk to your other agents, this is a good way to get in, good way to start. Look at the activities in your area, find somebody that looks good, like maybe Logic Cole, send message and say, hey, I need help, or I'd like to get into the action area. Almost all of the agents are going to be really welcoming you and telling you how to get in on the action.